Big Farm Story is a farming and life simulation game developed by Good Game Studios and is available to play on PC. This game is an excellent addition to the relaxing farming genre with a detailed narrative driven story, your own farm to customize and upgrade, plenty of side quests, locations to explore and discover and more. I'm going to go through the five main elements that make up this game, but first let me quickly touch on the story. In a typical farming game fashion, the story here involves the search for a missing relative, specifically your grandfather. You've come to take ownership of the farm, but you've arrived at a rather tricky time as the town has just experienced quite a destructive storm. So first things first, you do a bit of cleaning up, help out the locals and then go on the search for your grandfather. It can be a bit frustrating that no one seems at all concerned about your grandfather, who for all they know could be lying half dead under a tree somewhere, but the main story is interesting, wholesome and detailed. While Big Farm Story has a sort of online element to it where you're able to visit other players' farms, and it has this old school MMO feel to it, it is essentially your classic single player farming game. You have a farm to manage where you can grow crops and tend to animals for money. You have a house that can be upgraded and customized. There are resources that are littered everywhere that can be collected and used to craft with. There are other items to collect such as fish. And there's also an abundance of side quests that sort of use all of these elements to give you a nice range of quests. Once you begin your game and clean up your farm, it really doesn't take you long to get straight into the meat of it. You'll slowly unlock new areas, tools and skills, which makes the game feel really rewarding. Your farm at the beginning of the game is essentially a small house and one farming plot. Through story progression, you can unlock barns, more farm plots, upgrade your house, add furniture and so on. It gives you a great sense of game progression as you slowly see your farm transform. The map itself and all the areas you can visit are very detailed. You start off with access to only a few areas and through completing quests and progressing the story, you're slowly able to unlock several other locations across the map. Across these areas you'll find various resources, with many being found only in certain locations. While useful for quests, there are also these market requests that you can complete that require various resources, which is a great side hustle to earn a bit of cash. There is crafting, cooking and fishing in this game and I think it's done pretty well. Specifically, I love the fishing. Super easy, quick and straightforward. I find sometimes that games try and make fishing this kind of mini game in itself, but it ends up just being such a long process and takes way too long to catch anything. Whereas this game keeps it simple and quick. Hmm. Big Farm Story pretty much revolves around quests. If you're not a fan of quests in farming games, then this probably won't be the game for you. You'll often have several quests going at any one time. Some may require you to finish others so you can have access to something, and it'll pretty much stay this way throughout most of your gameplay. Personally, I love this. It keeps the game feeling really busy so you never get bored, but also in Big Farm Story, there is no rush. You can take your time and work on your farm if you prefer. Not only that, but there is a great variety here. They range from collecting things, talking to someone, making an item, fixing a piece of property or even going somewhere. Sometimes in farming games like this, they make you feel like a bit of a chump doing everyone's dirty work for them. While in this game, I never really quite felt thanked enough. At the same time, I never really felt like I was being used either, so I'll take it. One thing that did get me though, is that in this game you often get quests for collecting materials and later in the game you get these quests for some pretty rare items. There was one quest where I needed to collect flowers and no joke, it would have taken me about three hours just to go each day to a location and see if a flower had spawned. But hey, it was to make a perfume that your dead grandma used to use, so hashtag worth it. <laughs> Big Farm Story has a very vibrant and pleasing look to it that fits perfectly with the relaxing nature of the game. The different areas you'll explore are so detailed and 
Really, overall, it's just a beautiful game. Big Farm Story is a simple and intuitive game that's easy to learn and dives straight into the story. Whether you're completing quests, focusing on your farming duties or collecting resources, there's always something to keep you busy. I did really enjoy this game and I found it very addictive. Yet another game where I pretty much played it non-stop for a few days until I had finished it. And those are the best ones. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or recommendations for other games and thank you for watching. Bye!